Carlson has been on a roll. Here, here's another example of, uh, of the QAnon thing. Watch the uh, rhetorical trick here he does, right? Where you have news media reporting on how these QAnon lunatics, and I'm sorry, um, there's something, there's some, I mean, the, the depth in which these people believe this, uh, this stuff is, is, is nuts, in my estimation, my opinion. Um, but to the extent that people are, um, have a problem with him, a problem with uh, QAnon believers, it is not, the government is not prosecuting people for believing in QAnon. Here we go. The real threat is a forbidden idea. It's something called QAnon. Next, what to do about QAnon and its droves of loyal followers? Is it too little too late to bring our loved ones back to reality? Many of those who believe the totally unfounded conspiracies and prophecies of QAnon expected January 20th to be Judgment Day. As far-right figures and QAnon conspiracy theorists are joined by Trump supporters who believe the election was stolen. QAnon is better viewed as an on-ramp to various different extremism circles. How many people in the country have been marinated uh, in these conspiracy theories, QAnon craziness, uh, and it is frightening. That's CNN. Ooh, Mr. Closet. Here we go. So he just played, I don't know, a half a dozen clips from MSNBC and CNN. Those, just in case you're wondering, are cable news networks. Period. End of story. But continue That's because the he's government. Yeah. You know, well, Tucker doesn't is not quite sure. Tom Friedman thinks this is all pretty frightening, and he's right, but not as usual for the reasons he thinks. We're watching a profound change taking place in American society, and it's happening very fast. The stakes could not be higher. There is a clear line between democracy and tyranny, between self-government and dictatorship. And here's what that line is. That line is your conscience. They cannot cross that. Government has every right to tell you what to do. Government. Controlling the behavior of citizens is one of the basic prerogatives of any organized society. That's why we have it. Government can try to prevent you from committing murder or rape or from speeding or jaywalking. That's all allowed. It's legitimate. But no democratic government can ever tell you what to think. Your mind belongs to you. It is yours and yours alone. Once politicians attempt to control what you believe, they there wasn't a single politician in that package he presented. There wasn't a single representative of the government whatsoever. I mean, he's he is driving this insanity. He's not the only one, but um, th th this is a sleight of hand that goes on every single day on on his show in one form or another the government is not outlawing QAnon. the government is not as far as i know i imagine there are some politicians who have a problem with QAnon, just like there are some politicians who have a problem with blm or colin kaepernick or whatnot because they're using political rhetoric but there is no tyranny against QAnon here uh from the government well yeah, I mean, it's a conflation of different kinds of elites. And one can inform the other, right? Like the government elites, they often determine a lot of mainstream media talking points just based on them being at the center of power and the media influences people in government. There's no question about it. But there's a difference in in there's a difference between feeling like you can't be a part of mainstream culture and believe in an insane thing like QAnon, which should be the reality, and that's why the media is covering it, and being locked away for believing in QAnon, which is not happening. It's not happening. And it's a way for him to give a wink and a nod to the Capitol insurrectionists who yeah. didn't just believe in QAnon. They well, stormed the Capitol and, kill and people died. That's exactly the point is that he is defending these people. He's doing it. It's a little bit of a bank shot, but that's what he's doing. He's, he is extrapolating. These people are being arrested because he's trying to make it like they're being arrested because they believed in a conspiracy theory yeah. as opposed to went into the Capitol with designs to kill or hang or even if they just went into like, oh, I'm just going to go on and take crap on the uh, Senate floor. Oh, I'm sorry. That's illegal regardless of who does it. Yeah. And, and it's regardless you of go what to jail. you believe. Yeah, it's a 
they could believe whatever they wanted. It's the actions that they took. But then he doesn't get to couch his completely reprehensible politics and lazy 1984 rhetoric where he's trying to claim there's some sort of thought police. No, there's policing uh, based on the actions of the people that had those thoughts. It has nothing to do with what they... Like, how else can he bring it back to the tech companies and make it all about them? Like, the one industry he's somewhat interested in calling out their greed for because they're connected to the Democrats. This is the same hysteria sort of pitch as Jordan Peterson was making about that bill that said, I'm going to be uh, thrown in jail for misgendering somebody. Yeah, right. What and like it, they were also doing this too because now Biden has uh, pronoun options on the government website. Absolutely, how dare An infringement he? upon my 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 masculinity? Nineteen eighty four, much? Exactly. <laughs> Orwell would not be proud of this. He wouldn't recognize this society, or he would. <laughs> 